I literally want to take down everything on my walls right now and completely restart my classroom setup. So I came in today and I really thought that I was going to get a lot done. I was going to be productive. Fight. But as soon as I got here, I won. Just felt like I wanted to completely rip everything down Bruh. and start all over. Oh my God. And I thought that because we are doing a Costa Rica trip, in my school this year and i'm leading it and i wish that i would have went with a jungle theme because i feel like that would have matched a lot of the activities that we are going to do but i love what i have so far <laughs> I'm just a little bit mad at my old self for not thinking of that and I literally want to start all over but I put in way too much time I just don't know like <sighs> we'll see I do have a few Costa Rica things that I did print out and I am going to put up I just don't know exactly how I want to put them up but I am so frustrated with my old self because I wish I would have made that connection so much sooner but now i'm like six days into my classroom setup and uh, i'm just disappointed i'm just a little bit frustrated and i'm here and i just i just don't feel well oh. it's not like that i feel sick but like i feel like i maybe have a sinus infection or something and it's just like i can feel it in my nose i can feel it in my head i can feel it in my chest so i'm probably not going to spend a lot of time here today because i didn't feel it earlier but as soon as i got here it started to kick in and now i just like want to go home and now that i'm here looking at my classroom and the fact that i want to restart it Bruh. It's not a good day, <laughs> but we're going to make it as good as today as we can. Yeah. Um, so let me share with you the stuff that I already printed and cut out because it is really, really cute. Okay, so here are just a bunch of famous and symbolic animals from Costa Rica. And we have some leaves and we have the Costa Rican flag. And there's like just some other random objects that came with this bundle on TPT. And I think it looks so cute. But my problem is I'm not sure how I want to put them up because I already have my bulletin boards filled up and I wasn't anticipating on making another one. But I really want to make this into a bulletin board because right now, like all of my big white spaces is already filled up. So I don't have a lot of space to work with. These are the white spaces that I currently have open, but I feel like my classroom just has so much in it right now. To make a whole other bulletin board with Costa Rican stuff, I don't know if it's a good idea. This is the space that I currently have open, and I think I'm probably going to do something here, but I don't know if I want to use both the door and the wall, or only just the wall, or just the door. Please excuse these wires, but I also have this amount of space under my whiteboard that I could use, but I don't really think I want to use that, but that is another option. So, after thinking it over, I think... I think I'm going to use the wall, just the first wall I showed you. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the door with it. I wanted to put conversation starters up on my door because I have different ways for how to say hello and goodbye in Spanish. And I thought that would have been a cute way so people can come in and they know different ways to say hi and then they can leave and see different ways for how to say goodbye. And I thought that was cute. I already printed and cut those all out. But now with this Costa Rica idea and this new jungle theme that's storming in my head, I'm just frustrated with my old self like <sighs> I don't know, but I gotta start putting stuff together because A, I don't want to be here for that long and B, once I start putting stuff on the wall, it'll start to make sense and hopefully I won't be as mad and I'll be able to appreciate the little Costa Rican thing that I do have going on in my classroom. Now that you're gone, I spend my nights all alone here Wishing you were here, sweet and my sweet
I think this looks like absolute garbage. <laughs> like it just looks so bad. I don't even know if I want to continue with it. I'm just a little bit frustrated right now because what I have put together so far is absolute garbage and I'm just gonna take the L on that one and just tear it down. I only spent like 10 minutes working on it, but I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I think it looks so bad. I may instead just put those decorations up on our door and maybe they'll look better, but I think it looks so bad. And I only spent like three or four dollars on the TPT bulletin board online, but I spent so much time cutting them out and, and it's just not my day. So I think I'm going to start working on the door instead and just take down the patheticness. That is what I just did and get to work because I am feeling like the sickness inside of me right now and I don't want to be here, but I'm not going to tell myself that I drove all the way here and not get anything done. So, so we got to get something done. that I once again thought of an idea, thought it would be cool, thought it would be neat, thought it would be artistic, and it turned out looking like trash. I don't know how you teachers do it who can make a really beautiful, artistic, creative, inspiring bulletin board or your door and I'm at a loss for words. If you can do this, congratulations, because I feel like I am failing at everything I'm doing right now. That door looks trash, and I think it's because the door is probably a bajillion years old, so the actual wood on it, it's like shaved off. And I know there are some teachers who will put like something on the door to cover it up and make your door pretty and nice, but I don't want to do that. And I thought these bubbles would have just made it look better, but I feel like they kind of made them worse and not surprised there like i'm not surprised at all sometimes i just want to be done with this classroom setup but i feel like i still have so much to do and looking at my classroom like right from back here i think it's beautiful i think it's perfect outside of this costa rica jungle themed struggle that i'm having internally but when i look at the front of the room i feel like it's missing something and my biggest conflict during this whole classroom setup was that I didn't want it to be overwhelming and overstimulating for students because when there's so much going on, I know that it is distracting and really hard to pay attention. So I didn't want a lot going on at the front of the room, but I feel like there's so much that I can put up that will actually benefit students. And I just don't mean like inspirational quotes or things like that, but I mean like actual useful vocab words, actual useful phrases and things like that, that will benefit them. I feel like it's getting to a point where I'm having so much stuff be put everywhere and I don't want that like I want a good balance of having stuff and it being useful and having white blank spaces on my walls and on my room and on my doors I'm having this internal battle with myself and I really don't know what to do plus add to the fact that I'm not feeling well right now like it's like 60 degrees outside and I'm wearing a cardigan and jeans and a t-shirt so maybe I didn't come dressed to impress for this classroom setup I don't know what to do <laughs>
drove 30 minutes to their school today and got absolutely nothing done? Bruh. I literally could not do anything but laugh. Like, I see these classroom setups all over YouTube, all over Instagram, and I am amazed at how creative and smart and just intelligent everyone is. And that's not me. <laughs> And I want it to be me so badly, but I feel like I'm trying so hard to make my classroom into something that's not authentically me. And I think the stuff I have up right now, it's so good and I love it and it really makes my classroom feel at home. And I know definitely that there is one more thing that I want to do. I want to kind of rearrange my desk area and the walls right next to my desk to really show photos of like me and my family and things that matter to me. I think that will make my room a bit more personal in that way. But other than that, big giant things like how I've done so far, I don't think I need it. Like I think I'm really, really trying too hard and I think all of this stress that I'm putting on myself to have a good classroom, it's actually making me sick. And the fact that I was feeling fine until I got here and then I started feeling sick, like that's a big sign for me, you know? Like, <laughs> anyways, I am definitely going to end today here because I am just uninspired and unmotivated. And I think when I come back next time for a good, productive classroom setup. I will bring some personal photos and I will be able to set up like my own corner of things that are really, really important to me because I see that all over Pinterest so often. And that's something that matters to me a lot. And I think I will have a lot of fun doing that. But for right now, like this Costa Rica thing, the cute bulletin board I tried to do today, like the door thing today, it was a flop for one. I'll take the L and I'll leave today happily but it really brought some realization to me today that I should stop trying to be someone I'm not and stop trying to make my classroom Instagram worthy because it doesn't have to be. And if you are in that struggle right now, like you're seeing these things on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok or whatever, and you're really feeling discouraged with your classroom, just know that I'm feeling it too. And the work that you put in is probably more than enough right now, and you probably don't even need to do anything else. And really congratulate yourself on the work that you did do because it's a reminder I need for myself today. And I imagine that there's so many teachers out there who could use that reminder for their classroom setups this season.